You know, many people think because they think they know the truth, they can say what they like. It's not enough to know the truth. There is a way truth must be communicated. You know why he says to speak the truth in law? When you speak the truth in law, people are edified. Because you can have knowledge and knowledge can puff you up and you can become arrogant. Many people are speaking the truth, but the energy coming out of them is outright arrogance. You can just speak it, you can discern it. It's not passion, it's arrogance. There are many people speaking the truth, but it's out of bitterness. Either because a man deceived them, you know, or a woman deceived them. They are now teaching on relationship. And the way they are attacking women. You know, this is not Bible. All these girls, they are fornicators. They are Jezebel. If you find any girl with a long finger, that is Jezebel. Don't go, no. The lady that broke his heart has long fingers. See, you need discernment to hear truth in the last day. Most of the things people say with aggression is bitterness they are releasing. And if you sit there, after a while, you will notice that you too become bitter. Because when they pour that bitterness, they pour it on you. Somebody goes to the east, maybe he lost money. Watch when he's talking about Christians from the east. You will know this is not Bible. Somebody's wife offends him. Wait until he's teaching about wives. The things he will say about wives, you will think a wife should be a rag that they should match, match on and clean shoe with. Because he wants to, he's talking from bitterness. He's not teaching the truth. So you need to be very discerning. The Bible said the acid test to understand truth is not just accuracy. Is the love with which is communicated. A man who is speaking truth must speak it with love because it is only when spoken in love that edification can come. See what the Bible said. Colossians 4 verse 6. It said, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. Let your speech be filled with grace. The reason we share what we share is to empower people. It's not to destroy them. Many times, listen, it doesn't mean God does not rebuke. There are times when God rebukes. And if God is rebuking, there will be a witness of the Holy Ghost. And the way you will know is that although the message will come strong, but it will empower you, it will inspire you, and it will strengthen you to come out of that thing. It will not make you feel condemned and turn you to a rag. Rather, it will embolden you to believe that you can do it. So, truth is scarce because there is no love. The Bible says when we mature, we will speak the truth in love. In fact, Paul was praying for the church in Ephesus. In Ephesians 3.15, he said they should be grounded in love. That they are able to touch all the dimensions of love. The depth, the height, the breadth and the worth of the love of God. You should touch every dimension. And when you have touched love, one of the ways to show it is when you talk to people. And it's also in your lifestyle. There will be generosity. There will be kindness. There will be patience. There will be endurance. Our society is so impatient. Drive on the street. You will see the tension in society. If your car just passes somebody's front, the next thing you will see, he will throw an insult at you. The way he will throw it with aggression, you will catch it. He will throw it and sometimes he will leave you and insult your father. Because of the tension in society. And many Christians are like that. They have allowed it to enter them. And so everybody is bitter. Everybody is aggressive. Everybody is so high temper. No, we must come to that point where we allow love to tamper us. We allow love to manage us. Galatians 5.22 gave us eight attributes of love he said the fruit of the spirit is love and he now began to expound on what love is and he said love is joy love is peace love is long suffering love is gentleness love is goodness love is faith love is meekness love is temperance and he said against this there's no law because when you walk in love you can't offend this is maturity from your house to everywhere God has given you the opportunity to function. 
you must watch yourself to see that gentleness temperance meekness patience long suffering kindness let these things define you some people think christianity is about you came to the job and every day they see you in the office you bend down the table go back up go back up go back up and everybody in church knows everybody at the work knows that ah i'm this one a fireman that is good but christianity is more than that you know why because even the muslim can chant gibberish and they will even be more consistent than you what people want to see are the qualities that you have that is not normal when you are offended how do you respond how do you interact with people on a day-to-day -day basis trust me you will win the world faster if these characters begin to define every one of us people will walk up to you and say who are you what god do you serve what were you taught because they will know that your response to life is different from the average person and that thing that makes you like that they too will want to be like that because everybody wants love they want to love and be loved the problem is they don't know how god sent us to the world to teach the world how to love these qualities paul gave he went for that to betray them in first corinthians 13 and if you see the things paul wrote he said i may know all knowledge all mysteries he said i may i may prophesy all prophecies he said i may manifest all power he said if i have not love i am but a clanging cymbal it's like an empty barrel because love is the prime of spiritual maturity thank you for watching and if you have been blessed by this message don't forget to hit the subscribe button god bless you